Fortnite Season 4 Absolute Doom has been out for just over a day now, and people are already saying it's the best season of the chapter and one of the best seasons in all of Fortnite, and from the rounds that I've played, I would have to agree, it's really fun. But there's a certain group of people, a certain community within Fortnite that could possibly ruin this all, the sweats. I want you to think back to the start of Chapter 5 Season 3. When it released, everyone was saying, oh my god, the car meta is so much fun, it's so chaotic, I love it. It's such a good break from the boring end of Season 2. Fast forward to the end of the season, the sweats had complained and everything had been nerfed into the ground, and everyone was saying, oh, this is one of the worst seasons we've ever had, I'm so excited for the Marvel season, it's gonna save everything. And then the cycle begins again. Now before you go and comment, yeah, I agree, why doesn't Epic just split the loot pools? You might think you're a genius that can solve everything, but there are reasons Epic might not want to do that. The first of which being that having the items in Battle Royale that are also in competitive, it might make competitive more appealing and more watchable for anyone from any area of Fortnite's community. Another reason could be that if they remove those items from competitive, they're kind of defeating the whole purpose of the season, and I can understand why developers wouldn't want to get rid of something that they've worked on to be the central focus of an entire two months. But the big reason here that specifically references to our Marvel season is really interesting. Because the Marvel season in particular not only makes Fortnite more popular because it's associated with a popular brand, but it's also counted as a Marvel advertisement, there are certain items and certain contracts that have to be kept in the game for the certain length of a season. That being said, things like the War Machine's Armory and the Doom Gauntlets, because they are associated with Marvel IP, it's not as easy for Fortnite to just remove them from certain modes by themselves, especially considering Disney now holds stakes in the Epic Games company itself. So that's one idea. But let's say that's not true. Let's say Epic do end up splitting loot pools and removing items from competitive. What would be the first to go? Well, I think these clips explain that. Yeah, so the dual SMGs are just a little bit overpowered. I got this James Bond clip on a train, paired with the jetpack, it is so OP. And it's just the fire rate is just, it's unbeatable, really. Although there definitely are counters, which I'll talk about a bit later. But next to the SMGs, I'd say the War Machine's armory will be the next thing getting vaulted, or at least heavily nerfed. This thing is just, well, it's how I got my first win. You just kind of spam it. I think maybe they'll make it a smaller magazine and also decrease the time you can fly for, but that's just my predictions. So, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the video so far, and also so you can come back and see what actually happened. Now, personally, I don't think they should really be nerfing or removing anything, other than the pistols. They are definitely OP. But I saw a video on Twitter today, I'll see if I can actually get it up, where two people were fighting each other with the Marvel Mythics, with, I think, the War Machine's Armory, and there was something else too. But the general idea is, these Mythics are actually pretty common. Or not Mythics, sorry, but like the Cap Shield and the War Machine's Armory, you can get multiple of them. So if two people have them, it doesn't make a fight really one-sided, but instead it can actually make it really entertaining and feel like really high stakes, which for a community who complain about the game being boring so much, you would think that would be a good thing. And look, for some of us it is. I've personally found this season really challenging to win, but also really fun. The game where I used the armory to win that I showed earlier is my only win of the season so far, but I'm not actually sick of the game or like tired and don't want to keep playing, because the fights I'm getting into are genuinely really Really interesting. I'd even argue that the boss mythics we have in this chapter's version of a Marvel season are way weaker than the ones we've previously had. Like, Doom's gauntlets are definitely less overpowered. Although I know this is the Doom bot, this isn't actually Doom because he's off making some armor or something like that. But even like the Mysterio mythic with the invisibility, that's not really that OP. And Emma Frost's one is basically just a recon scanner. Like, they're not crazy items. I think Epic are saving a ton of the Marvel Mythics for the return of the Marvel Knockout mode, because if you look in the game files, all of the items like the Wolverine Claws, the Black Panther Claws, or whatever his Mythic was, right, they're all in the files. I'd say later throughout this season, Epic will bring back this mode to reintroduce all of these Mythics, but not into the main Battle Royale, because yeah, I think that would be too hectic. But that's not to worry, because we do have new Mythics coming to Battle Royale. We've got the actual Doctor Doom's Mythic, where it's like a Unibeam beam made of this Doom sort of green energy. Then we've also got the Iron Man tech drops, which will give players this mythic which we see Gwenpool using in the trailer for the season. And then we also have Shuri's mythic claws. So there's still tons of items to come throughout this season, so hopefully people won't get bored of it. I really don't think I will. I didn't even get bored last season. But there is one complaint that I have. 
I know I've been saying a lot about the ungrateful community, but there is one thing that I think Epic could do really easily that would change a ton of things. You've got great content laid out for all of your seasons, just spread it out. Have the first update give us the Shuri Claws. Have the second update give us the Iron Man Tech Drops. Have the third update be, well, Fort Nightmares for this season specifically. And then have the last one give us the Doom Unibeam. Like, you don't have to do it all in one update, but I have a feeling they will, because Fortnite have this whole thing of making some really hype updates, like one or two really hype updates in a season, and then the other one or two are just really, really dry. And it's getting a bit old. So Epic, now's your chance to change. I think if you did, it would sort of stop this whole trend of people saying, oh, there's a drought in every season, you know, I'm bored, I want the next season. Or maybe not stop it, but it would definitely calm it down. As I've said in this video, and also many others, I have loved most of, if not every single Chapter 5 season, because I just haven't played it my entire life. Like, I've maybe hopped on once or twice a week and found it really fun, because I don't get burnt out from playing every single day. Now, I understand certain content creators like CypherPK and that they have to play, but even they seem to be enjoying it more than these guys on Twitter who don't make money off Fortnite and don't have a reason to complain if it's not good. It's literally like saying, okay, let's say you hate ice skating, right? You hate ice skating, you're awful at it, you've never been good at it, but every day for a year you've kept going ice skating, and every time you go ice skating, you come home to your family and go, oh, I hated ice skating, that was the worst experience, I don't know why I do this every day, I hate this. Why can't they make ice skating more fun? Now you know what you can do, you can just fucking stop ice skating. Quite an awful analogy, but I hope you get my point, it doesn't really have anything to do with ice skating. But just like, take the skating shoes off, put them to the side, put the controller down or the keyboard or the mouse or whatever, take a step outside and just resist every single urge that pops up to go on Twitter and complain about the season. Because really, if you do that, you're ruining it for everybody else.